y'all. So it is a rainy day in the city. Um, but come along with me because um, I'm getting ready for a group on. Yeah. Hey y'all, I am starving so I have to get something to eat. Okay. <laughs> so I, I always get like the margarita. I feel like it's the best one. But not now. I'm gonna stay disciplined. And never forget these travel size things because you always need them. You never know what you need. So far, this is what I got. All right, I got my mini uh, uh, primer, my mini uh, uh, setting powder, and my fancy. Hey, y'all, and I'm back. Thank you guys for tuning in and getting ready with me as we get ready for Aruba. Aruba. Right, so first things first, as you can see, my hair is different. I took out the locks. I needed to, you know, let my scalp breathe, you know, fill my scalp. And, you know, I, I, lo I love a Caesar. I love a good uh, platinum blonde baldy, okay? That's what I've been rocking for like years. And, you know, I'm gonna keep on rocking it. So my hair is different, right? So um, welcome to my get ready. With you. Normally people take like a day off to do everything, right? But in my opinion, that doesn't work because there's always one thing you aren't able to do, right? Whether like you didn't have enough time to get your nails done or like you have to rush or, you know, and I rather just space things out, right? So my plan for getting ready is just like doing something every single day, like after work, right? But just a little bit more about my trip. So I'm going with my twin, Jesse. Um, Jesse, um, uh, she made an appearance on my last vlog. And if you don't know, I'm gonna show you her page now. So her page is Jessie as well. Um, it's gonna be like a crossover event. I'm in her vlogs, she's in my vlogs. It's gonna be epic, right? But um, we're a twin and I think that one thing that's a blessing is that like, because we're twins, we're always travel buddies, right? Like I have a guaranteed travel buddy because we had the same birthday, right? And I feel like, you know, before the pandemic, we were able to travel, um, but I, so we went to Cancun. We've been to Barbados, we've been to Jamaica. We've done many different things, many different trips together, but the pandemic kind of messed some of those plans up. So we're, we're trying, we're hopping back onto it, right? And Aruba is the perfect place to start. And I low key feel like Aruba is like the new Jamaica, you know? Not that, not for the culture, but in terms of like its popularity, right? Like whenever, if you ask anybody, everyone's been to Jamaica at least once, at least once, right? And so I feel like Aruba is becoming that place. And so it's like, why not go? So in terms of tips, so um, we are really excited to do many different things. So we're going to stay at the Renaissance Wind Creek um, Hotel. There's actually an all-inclusive option. And we chose to do all-inclusive. Let me tell you, when you're on vacation, you're not trying to think about the bill. You're not trying to think about, like, oh, how much this drink. You're not trying to do math in your head. Like, you know, like that, like that math emoji. No one's trying to do algebra, right? But I'm relaxing, right? And I feel like sometimes all-inclusive, it, it gives you that option, right? And don't get me wrong, I'm a baddie on a budget. I feel like there's some trips where it's like an Airbnb might make sense, might might make more sense, but I feel like for Aruba, it's like, get the full experience, you know? Enjoy, right? Just enjoy it, right? So um, we are doing all-inclusive, right? And so one thing I really love about the Renaissance Wind is that like a lot of the tourist attractions are like very close to there. So they have the Flamingo Beach, right? With the fl different flamingos. And also you can reserve a cabana there. Um, the cabana that's right next to Flamingo Beach. Um, they also have LG Steakhouse, which is like a, a, a very famous steakhouse. Like they have like a mixologist who specializes in different drinks. You know, so those are some of the things that we're really excited about. Um, if I can give any tips on Aruba booking, I would just say book in advance, right? It's a small, it's a small city, right? So there are like, there's limited, limited availability for certain things. So, for example, one of the 
spots on our on our to-do list is um the flying fish bone so it's like the it's the restaurant where you get to put your feet in the water right so we booked reservations and why like so we were able to book a table but like the tables that are in the water they're booked up until december it's october 3rd right now and december 15th they're booked up that is crazy like that's madness and that just goes to show like you know the more popular things are the more you have to reserve in advance also, our cabana. So me and Jess, we reserved a cabana. So you can reserve it from 9 to, I believe, 5 or 6.30. And you, it's all day. There's like a, you know, there's a handmaid. You have like a, um, you have like a waiter for the whole day. You can order lunch. It comes with complimentary like champagne. It's a vibe, right? But we we booked it, I think, four to six weeks in advance. And we got the last one. Can you, the last one, right? So if we waited any longer, we would not have been able to get it. So I say that to say what Aruba booked in advance all right because the things that you really want to do other people are going to want to do too and you're going to be out of luck if you wait for the last minute all right um so we're really we're on our list we definitely are going to hit up like south beach you know um to hear the different music to have some hookah um flying fish uh the sunset cruise i feel like i haven't done that since like jamaica so i'm excited to do like a sunset cruise you know um we're twins, so you already know we have some matching outfits, okay? It's only right. Take a picture? Yeah. <laughs> You know, always last minute toilet trees. Let's see what I find. Travel side section is always where it's at. y'all so picking up sunscreen is always a must when going to an island destination i'm gonna pick up the black girl sunscreen i must say this target has a good like self-care section the different like little self-care essentials here but that's not why i'm here but still this right here is actually one of my favorite scrubs it'll have you smelling amazing this one right here hey youtube fam it is another rainy day in the city um i was able to get my nails done i did a quick target run and let me tell y'all this rain is making me super sleepy it's like i'm literally catching a flight to change the weather it's been raining since friday it's currently tuesday okay i'm tired of this sick and tired So I'm super excited. I was able to get my hair done. This is the way it's pushing through. Okay. So got my hair done. Um, but I'm tired. I can't even front. But it's okay. Like my vacation is like two days away. I can feel it. All right. I'm also really excited because a couple of my packages came in. So when I come back from Aruba, I'll be um, redecorating my living room. So you'll get a chance to see um, how my living room looks. It'll be given rich auntie vibes. Right. And a lot of the, the things I purchased will be on my Amazon storefront. So you can check it out there as well but wednesday down in the bag i'll tune in with you guys hey y'all so it is wednesday the day before our flight um i was able to get my lashes done and my eyebrows done and now it's time to get my earbuds see y'all soon So we look at extra 20, all right? Ready to go to where? We're going to Aruba. Ah, 
my airport vibes. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> so we made it inside it early. Was easy check -in. It was super actually faster than what we thought. We could have we could have actually slept in a little bit, but we didn't. We were right. responsible. Okay. But we're gonna do a little pause of food as soon as it opens. Because you need to have a good meal before you board. Okay. See y'all. Stop and like you Get on the flight, have to, it's a must. Hey girl.